Yes, Magnesites. The god that wields the dark Mjolnir ah, descends to his throne of thought and to move this cup to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. 55,000 strong! Ah! Now, got an email here and I thought it was pretty interesting. Never got one like this one before. He says, hey Tyrone, lately I've been noticing a lot about where I fit in in a lot of cases as far as being good, bad, or great at something. And I notice that I constantly tend to do, to outdo someone that's bad. <laughs> but I always tend to struggle when I'm around people that are considered great. And now I see that I'm the middle class person and I want to change that. And I know that some people are supposedly born with certain talent and it kills me because I'm always busting my ass to get noticed. And it's nothing but a lift of the finger for them. I notice that you're a very accomplished person. I wanted to ask you for tips on how I could eventually be great or at least on that level. One million subscribers, woo. Well, I find this, this is a real interesting question. I've never got this before. So, let me explain something. Yes, it is true. Certain people are born with natural abilities, natural talents, you know? You know, I know a guy that can paint portraits of people and to the T and it's so detailed and it's like and he always was able you know as children he, he drew well and you know was excelling in art and the stuff like that you know what I'm saying you got people that are just born with these artistic abilities some people are born with great voices some people are born with phenomenal strength look at Mark Henry from WWE he was an Olympic lifter he was born built for strength, okay? So what I'm trying to say is yes, that is true that there are many people that are born with special talents. Now, I don't know if the old adage, the whole, the old legend or the old, old saying of people saying, everybody's got a talent, you know, I know I know it's a way of making everyone feel special, but I don't know if everyone has a talent. But I don't know if everyone does not have a talent. I don't know that. I'm just telling you my thoughts on that specific thing. So, if that's true though, that everyone has a talent, then that means that you also have a talent, okay? I knew from, I could say fourth grade on, that I was meant to be on television, that I was meant to entertain and make people laugh. It was only when I got older, once I truly found my way, that I realized that not only was I meant to be on TV, to entertain and to make people laugh, but I was also meant to educate and inspire. Because I know that through my own actions that I can help someone that has been in my place or seeks to be in my place or and go further. But with you, you're, you're, you're toiling with this whole issue of, you know, I can beat the people that are bad. So I'm in the average level, but I can't beat the good, the greats. I'm average. So at least, you, at least you're middle of the line. You ain't got to work from just being horrible. You get what I'm saying? So, I read a book, and I'm going to see, actually, if I can find it right now. I have it on Audible, and it, it, it was very interesting about what it was. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, one second, because what it talked about, it was talking about how um, there's a difference 
of 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 how greatness is achieved. You know, there's people that are born with talent. I can't find it. Damn. There are people that are born with talent. When I get the chance, I will post the name to the book below. And I think it's called Bounce. I think it's called Bounce. Um, and it talks about how there's, okay, there's the people born with the talent. But then there's people that practice. And when they practice, um, it talked about the amount of hours that are needed to achieve, yeah, the science of success. Bounce. There it is. And it was talking about how, like, I forgot how many hours it is to perfect something, to become great, to be a concert, you know, child prodigy pianist. You know what I'm saying? Um, like 10,000 hours of practice is, is what's needed to achieve that great status. Now, it was, it was kind of comparing. It's kind of like, okay, if I don't have no fucking talent to play the piano, but you're born with a talent, I can surpass you with my hours of dedication to the art. While you, it may only take you, say, 5,000 hours to become the pinnacle of greatness, right? But it'll take me 10. You stop practicing at 5, I can surpass you when I get to 11,000 hours. I'm just trying to give some numbers out there to you. You get what I'm saying? I remember when I was uh, running track, I was naturally fast, but I was also a guy that did not work. I was gifted at speed, but I did not work. I was very lazy at practice. And I remember my teacher, my, 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 my coach used to tell me all the time to work, to work, and you could be so much faster, you could be so much greater, you could be keep competing with all those other sprinters out there that are great. But I never listened because I was lazy. But there was one guy on the team that wanted to beat me. And while I was being lazy at practice, he made his own weighted vest a la his book bag with books in the back, books that stacked with books. So he made it heavy and harder for himself to run. He used to challenge me every day. You only become better in certain things when you challenge people that are better than you. You get what I'm saying? Um, when, like when fighters spar, they need to spar with people that are better or as good or better than them. That's only how you get better because you need to be challenged. So he would race me every day. He would call me out at lunchtime. Tyro, I'm ready. We're gonna race from here to there. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get you. And like I would just have so much fun. It was so funny for me because he never beat me. But there was this one race after he had been practicing for about three, four months or so. And when I was, I beat him. But. At the end, one of the guys in the stands that was watching the race came up to me and he said, yo, he was gaining on you. Now, that had never happened before. Before, I would basically leave him in the dust. But he said, yo, he almost caught you. And I was like, oh shit, he's getting better. You see that? His, even though he didn't have my natural talent, he did have the ability to be better than me. And that's what you have to, to grasp hold of. You see, when you want to become the best, don't give a damn about who's talented out there and who's better than you. You worry about perfecting yourself, okay? Because when no one works as hard as you, you become the best and it will be shown and you will be very happy at what you do. When I decided I wanted to be an actor, I honed my skills, and some people say, a lot of people say I have a natural talent for it because I beat people at this acting competition that had been acting years ahead of me, that had been acting months ahead of me. I only had a few months of training, and I came out Act Actor of the Year at IMTA. I couldn't fucking believe it. 
but people were there telling me how talented I was. They were telling me I had the voice of God when I spoke. I mean, the, the girls, I mean, it was just, it was crazy, crazy about the, the energy that I gave out and what I was attracting. It was phenomenal. But I came in there wanting to be the best. You understand that? So the actors there that came in second to me, third to me, do they have the ability to be better than me? You damn right. Because the more they practice and I don't, they will surpass me. And that is just how it is. So even if you're talented, like Phil the Gift Heath, you can still be beaten by Kai Green, who a lot of, a lot of people say is the uncrowned Mr. Olympia because he's saying don't know where body worked harder than me. Phil, you are the gift. You were given me a natural ability, but you don't work hard as me. And I saw that last Mr. Olympia and I might have to say that Kai Green, you are the uncrowned Mr. Olympia, but I ain't gonna get on that argument. Now, I think I've talked enough on this. You give a thousand percent in everything you do. You work longer and harder at what you do than anybody else. I remember Jean-Claude Van Damme was talking about um, moving toward his success, and he was talking about how um, when everyone was out partying, everyone was out doing this, out doing that, he was in the gym training, sparring, perfecting himself. And a lot of times you, 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 you have to really hone your skills. You have to fertilize it. You have to plant those seeds. You have to cultivate it. You have to work on it so hard. But the culmination, the payoff is extraordinary. I said this before in a video before where a guy, he, he compared it to, to planting bamboo. He compared success to planting bamboo because bamboo doesn't grow for seven years. So what, what he's talking about is you have, to, you have to fertilize it and water it for seven years and in that seventh year, boom, it shoots up. And it's, it's you know, he, he made the comparison where he was saying, you know, those seeds are planted fertilizing, those roots are probably growing and all this other stuff. You see, when you're practicing, when you're meeting people, you're rubbing shoulders, you're doing all these things to become the greatest at what you do, you're plant, the seeds are planted, they're being watered, they're being fertilized, the roots are digging deep. And then when it's prime for success, boom! That's why it's some of the reasons, it's one of the reasons why some of these people that become very successful really fast are unknown. You never knew about them. They didn't come from a successful family. That's because they were this unknown person cultivating their skill set, owning their skills, becoming the best at what they do, and all of a sudden, it all pays off and boom, explosion, fame, success, money, women, cars, houses, vacations, trips, yachts, all that stuff because of all the hard fucking work that probably took more than seven years to cultivate. That's what I'm talking about. And that's the reason why I continue to do what I do. I remember in the beginning, people, oh, you know, people, you know, you got the haters, you got the naysayers, don't let them get in your way. All the time, every once in a while, I get somebody that's like, oh, you'll never make it to a million subscribers of this and that, and, you know, People tell me, you'll never make it to 2,000. Of course, I already made it to 10,000. You'll never make it to this. You'll never make it to that. Oh, your your goal is way too far out. You should make it for 100,000 first. And then, no, motherfucker. Of course, I'm going to get to 100,000 if my goal is a million. That that's a, There are only stepping stones, okay? It's like if I want to be a great actor. Yeah, um, you, you, uh, um, um, a goal could be, oh, well, you, you, you say you want to be an A-list actor. Why don't you try good in the Broadway first? Fuck you. That's my grand goal. And in the whole scheme of things, Broadway may be on my step to an A-list actor. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm a man with vision. I can see the forest through the trees. I can see it. I can see where I'm going, okay? And even if it gets a little blurry, 
I still continue in, in that direction where sometimes you just have to calculate and adjust a little bit. And you have to veer to the left or veer to the right, okay? Um, and that's how it is, man. Like, I've always been about being financially free and loving what I do. And say I don't become an A-list actor. That may be all right because in the grand scheme of things, being financially free and loving what I do, I can get that with YouTube. And there are other avenues I can get it with. Things that I enjoy. But I enjoy YouTube the most so far. And if I start acting in movies and, you know, everything explodes, that will be absolutely fucking phenomenal and great. But until then, I can still see where I'm going. And I'm having fun doing it. And I continue to perfect myself every day. And I need you to follow that example if you want to do the same. One million subscribers. Woo!